Hello my lovelies and welcome to another fun video. I'm Yumi and today we're gonna cook another one of my favorite childhood meals. Uh, it's gonna be pasta bolognese. Uh, really. And of course we're gonna make it vegan. We're gonna start off by uh, making the pasta. So I'm gonna put some water on the stove. And to save energy and time, I'm gonna use my kettle to boil the water and put it on the saucepan. Let's do that. I will be using this one. A little bit of water in here. On the stove and turn it on. And then more water in the kettle. I will use macaronis and these are like fast cooking so this will take like 54 minutes and I'm gonna actually make the lunch boxes for work so I'm gonna do the next step. Got my pan. I'm gonna put some oil in it. And I'm gonna use my vegan mince. Also gonna add onions. garlic I would add as well but I don't so uh, I turn the heat up so I'm just gonna uh, add some spices some salt black pepper It's kind of nice to add some uh, vegan butter to the to the pasta and uh, some more salt and pepper. I'm happy with this. It should be cooked and I will add some tomato puree. I don't have any measurements, I just like do whatever feels right. <laughs> and stir that in. I'm gonna add Oatly cooking cream. Let's see if that's any good. People like their bolognese like runny or more like this consistency. I don't really have 
favorite or prefer anything. Have a little taste test. Tastes pretty good. I'm gonna add a vegetable bouillon <clears throat> here. And some more cooking cream. It will melt. That made all the difference. So yummy. And I actually think I'm gonna add the pasta in here. So it will stay like uh, so it, the pasta won't get dry. Because I don't like dry pasta. So this is not the way like either my parents would make this dish, but this is how I make it. Well, today at least. It could differ, I guess. But this looks so yummy. Let's see. Yep. I want to add some of this shredded vegan cheese on top from Lidl. Let me just stir it in there so it melts. really good. You have to try it at home. I hope I could inspire you to cook something woven milk new but in a different way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So let me know in the comments what you think and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye!